Hello friends and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to show you a very cool thing. How can you remove objects in DaVinci Resolve 18 just like this? Incredible, isn't it? Let's go straight into it. Okay, so we are in DaVinci Resolve right now and I've got two clips, so we're gonna work on both. So let's start with this clip over here. First things first, uh, what I want to do in this clip is to remove this small boat over here. You see the small boat? I think you will want to use this when most of the time you will, you know, have a drone footage and you have some beautiful pictures and there's something there that it shouldn't be there it's not supposed to be there i don't know maybe you are doing um, some stock footage to sell maybe you have a client shoot and this little thing there is just so annoying you know you can fix this and we can do it in no time uh, what we're we gonna do now we will have to go in our color page just over here so click on the color page and we've got our clip selected here. First of all, we need to mask our subject. So we're going to go here. Make sure you've got this power window selected. OK, and go to power window here. Just click here on the window and we need to select our subject. So you can select whatever shape you want. But for the sake of this tutorial, I will uh, use the curve tool. So let me select it. So make a small selection there. Okay, just like this. I'm gonna connect these dots. All right, so I'm quite happy with my shot over here. Uh, as you can see, I've started at the beginning of my clip with the first frame, uh, but you can, you know, really mask it anywhere you want, even in the middle. It's absolutely fine to choose a frame where your subject is very well in uh, focus and there is a very good separation uh, between uh, the background and your subject there's a big contrast there this is how it works all right so what we're going to do next is go to our tracker over here press the tracker so we're going to track it but for this very important click on frame because we need to uh, check every frame we need to track every frame okay so because i started the beginning i will track just forwards but let's assume you had your reference frame here, okay? Then you would have uh, just clicked here, backwards and forwards, but I've got my first frame here, so I can do just forwards, just like this. You see, and DaVinci Resolve makes magic. Just uh, tracking it forwards. Right, next, what do we have to do next? We have to go to Effects over here, and then go to Search, and search for Object Removal. All right, just drag it onto your node over here. And what we have to do next, we just have to analyze the scene. DaVinci Resolve will analyze the scene and you'll get some weird thing going on here. So DaVinci Resolve couldn't um, remove our object. So for this, we've got some settings here in the object removal. So we've got scene analysis, assume no motion, uh, scene mode boundary, render, blend mode so very very important if you have this problem here you have to click on the build clean plate so davinci resolve will build a clean plate and remove our object so if i go back now you can see our object was removed let's see how it looks like It looks pretty good. I'm quite happy with this, but there is another trick you can do. Uh, so go to blend mode over here. Now you can see blend mode is linear. Uh, for the best results, change it to adaptive blend. When the camera is moving on this drone shot, the lighting, it changes. You see, you've got different shades, you've got different lighting, you've got different colors. So what this blend mode does, it changes our mask with the lighting and the colors of the scene as it evolves pretty cool okay so if i want to turn off the mask i go here i turn this off and let's have a look again it does an incredible job so what you have to know here is that on the search range what davinci resolve does davinci resolve basically as the scene moves davinci resolves copies all these frames ahead and now it looks 20 frames ahead and it uh, tries to replicate what it sees in front 
uh, okay so try and um, play with this search range if you're seeing your um, subject appear for some reason so we're gonna go now to another example which is probably a little bit more challenging because this car is moving so fast um, but it still is absolutely doable and we will go and repeat the same process again uh, go to our color page click on the color page get this color get this car in front okay um, so again make sure you've got our power windows selected go to our window to our masking and just drag a mask in front here you can use the ellipse you can use um, the square depending on your shape of your object uh, I, pre I i like to use the curve because i think i have much more control with this so you have to keep in mind that this car is going forwards but also you've got the car has a, has a shadow as well so you have to include the shadow as well otherwise it's not going to work Okay, I'm going to probably move it just a little bit there. You can play with it and make sure where the car is going. Okay, I'm going to make it a bit bigger on this side. Okay. Try and keep it as small as possible. Okay, especially the beginning. Just like this, especially the front. Okay, let's have a look. Anyway, I'm going to track this mask anyway, so... But anyway, just make sure that it covers the whole... The whole time. Okay. So I've got our mask selected here. Again, what we need to do next, we need to track it. Go to tracker over here. Okay. And again, I'm going to track this backwards and forwards because I don't remember where I put my um, my mask on the first frame or the second. I can't remember. So I'll, I can't be bothered. So I'll just track backwards and forwards. Okay. See by magic. So DaVinci Resolve tracks the whole thing. You see, even if I've selected clip over here, right, did a pretty good job here at tracking this. And now what we're going to do, we're going to go to scene analysis, click scene analysis. Boom. Okay. So you see, uh, it, it did a pretty good job, but it still needs some help. So we need to create a clean plate. It did pretty good. But if I go now to search range gonna move this to further okay then i'm gonna move a little even further just like this and let's have a look and look at that pretty incredible when you'll create a clean plate basically what it's going to do is going to duplicate this and most of the time the clean plate it's not perfect so Try not to create a clean plate if possible, but if there's no other chance, then create the clean plate. So again, I'm going to go to blend mode and ch check adaptive blend. And let's have a look now. And this is it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you got some value out of it. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up consider subscribing, it really helps the channel and it motivates me to create even better videos just like this. Thanks so much and I catch you guys in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.